Imagine for a minute you are walking around China, and in particular the Guangdong province, enjoying its beautiful scenery. Of course, being China, it kind of looks more like this. Well, out on your walk, this thing decides to bite you. Being the smart person you are, you go to a hospital to get a rabies shot. With a hydrophobia affliction prevented, you head back home healthy. But then seven days later, you develop a fever along with multiple flu-like symptoms. You go to a hospital, and after some tests, your doctor comes in looking kind of nervous and starts asking you where have you been and what you've been doing for the past 14 days. Just what have you been infected with? The answer is SARS. It is known that this specific virus can cross the species barrier and maintains its consensus genotype. The genome contains 14 functional open reading frames, or ORPs. The ORPs encode the four structural proteins, spike, membrane, nucleocapsid, and envelope, and other accessory proteins. Corona is Latin for crown, and this molecule has the spike protein surface projections that resemble the crown that play a key role in the way the virus enters the host cell. SARS coronavirus causes acute infections. Symptoms include chills, muscle rigidity, fever, headache, fatigue, dry cough, and muscle pain. Also, sore throat, sputum production, rhinorrhea, and gastrointestinal complications can occur. The incubation period of the virus varies from 2 to 10 days and varies depending on whether it was direct or indirect contact. The mechanism of action for the SARS coronavirus has five steps to it, and the first step is attachment and penetration. In the first step, the spike glycoprotein recognizes and attaches to ACE2 located on the cell membrane. The spike proteins are then used to mediate cell membrane fusion and endocytosis. In the second step called uncoding, the virus membrane is removed and the nucleic acid from the coronavirus is released in the host cell's cytoplasm. The third step, translation and replication, can be carried out immediately due to the virus having positive stranded RNA like the host mRNA. The replication itself is performed by a polymerase encoded by the virus. The fourth step, assembly, is when RNA is made into virion particles. Step 5, release. Eventually, the whole cell breaks apart and the newly formed SARS coronavirus molecules are released. The virus targets the pneumocytes, enterocytes, and endothelial cells in the host airways by manipulating the ACE2 angiotensin-converting enzyme receptors. The virus uses the S protein as a ligand to bind to the receptor, which lets the virus fuse to the host cell's membrane. The virus also uses pH-dependent endocytosis. While there is no known vaccine, taking precautionary measures is the main way to prevent the spread of the virus. Wearing masks and minimizing contact with possibly infected surfaces reduces the risk of infection. There have been attempts at a potential vaccine that targets to neutralize the S spike protein to prevent the initial attachment of the virus to the host cell. The moral of the story is, walking's for suckers.